guys, this is Vipasha and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today I am going to show you a recipe which is very simple and takes few minutes to make. Uh, few minutes as in 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't take much effort and uh, it, may, it is made of ingre ingredients which is easily available in your fridge. So as you can see, I have just come back from the gym and before I needed a shower, I wanted to grab something with, uh, which is filling and equally healthy at the same time. So I'm, I have decided to make veggie pancake. So come and let me show you how to make it. Let's start by finely chopping some red bell peppers. Some yellow ones. And some green ones as well. Next, uh, chop some onion. And some chilies. Uh, spring onions which were pre-cut before I had it in my fridge. So let's get started. By so we'll start with 2 tablespoons of flour. Any flour will do. Normal flour or self-raising. I just happen to have the self-raising flour. Uh, 1 tablespoon of gram flour. Uh, what it does, it brings a level of crispiness into it and 1 teaspoon of coriander powder one teaspoon of or half a teaspoon actually uh, with chili powder it again depends on your taste how much you want to have it and the third one actually the last one not the third one uh, this would be salt again according to your taste so now what you need to do is add some water to into it preferably warm water and mix it we don't want it to be a thick consistency we want it to be uh, very uh, watery consist uh, consistency this is pretty much watery but I would prefer to have a little bit more water Otherwise, if you use cold water, you will have a chance of uh, having larger lumps and it's very difficult to get rid of those lumps. I will give the veggies a little bit of green onion chilies that's all and mix little bit more of pepper I would love I love color in my recipes and this is done so what I have here is a medium hot pan and I'm using vegetable oil I you can use olive oil or any oil of your choice I have given just one tablespoon of oil that's all you require actually uh, let it warm up a little and then you pour your pancake batter over it Just make it as round as possible and then just let it cook for five minutes as you can see the sides have uh, left the pan so it means that they have cooked and what you need to do is check with the spatula 
that whether if you can separate the pancake from the from the pan so here you can see it, it is moving you can move it so you just need to flip it around and look at that this color this is perfect so uh, since it is almost 80% done, done you just have to give two more minutes to it for the other side to cook and then you are ready to have it so after two minutes uh, this is ready uh, if you want you can just check it to see the other side it has changed its color it's completely cooked what you need right now is just take it off the plan pan I mean and just have it that's all so this is the final product I am going to give it a try mm. Mm. spicy crunchy Tasty and super healthy at the same time. You can add any much more uh, options if you want. You can add mushrooms, you can add tomato, anything. You can customize it in your own way. And my husband would usually prefer it to have it with a tomato sauce or with a dip of some kind. But trust me when I say this, you can have it as it is. It is so, so, so yummy delicious. So go ahead and give this recipe a try and let me know in the comment section below that how did you like it. And yes, also tell me that what more did you add into this recipe to make it more, more delicious. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you.